is that you guys showed up every single day when the season wasn't guaranteed. You show up every single day when they when they tell you that you might not play football and you was giving everything you got. You was taking the hardest coaching from me, Coach Gene, yelling at you, pushing you, trying to push you to be better players and better men. And that, that means that shows me that you guys got character. That shows me that, that in life, when things get hard, you guys are gonna still show up. A lot of times in life, when things get hard, people don't show up, people fall, people bend. But that shows me that you guys are getting ready for life because when things get hard, you guys showed up. When they said that we might not have a season, you guys showed up. When they said that school may not be in, you guys still showed up, you guys still got the grades. So that's one thing about you guys that I would say that you guys got character and I'm so proud and I'm so thankful to see that in a group of young men. Man, it's a blessing to see a group of young men who are got character and who are proud to be a, a part of Germantown High School. You know, I went to Germantown, man, and one thing that I regret when I was there is that it was some guys who, I, who was at school with me who didn't have a lot of character, who didn't have a lot of fight, who wouldn't show up for that, who wouldn't give everything they got just to play the sport they love, but I saw that in you guys every single day. And can't nobody ever take that away from me. Man, this touched so deep when, when Miss Tate asked me to come speak. Man, I thought about what should I say to them? You know, how can I how can I inspire you guys? And the only thing that I can think of is my senior year of high school. I had like three or four scholarship offers. On, on my way to a visit, coach called me like, hey, we man, somebody else just committed. We gotta take your offer. Another coach called me like, hey, your grades don't qualify. We can't get you in the school. And I remember I was at a real low point because I'm just like, man, it's my senior year and all the offers I had are gone, they're off the table. So I didn't know what I was gonna do because football was the game I loved, that's all I ever knew. And I remember my coach, he, he, he got on the phone with Memphis coach, he said, hey, that, that, that safety, that, that corner, he's still available, you guys wanna take him. And I'll never forget the day I got on the phone with uh, Daryl Dickey, oh, he's an old coach from Memphis. And he called me, he said, man, we'll see you May, May 31st. And that was the proudest moment of my life when I was still able to continue and play football. And I remember the week before I left, I had a, a little birthday gathering, I mean, a little graduation gathering in my um, going away party in my house. And someone, and one of my close friends, my parents gave me this card. And I still keep this card to this day. And whenever I'm down, whenever I don't feel like I can do it, this card picks me back up every single time. And when I tell you this today, I want you guys to take this with you and I want it to pick you up through every situation in life. And the card reads, it said, Chris, your future is so wonderful. If you could see it, it would scare you. We see it. Love, George and Betty. They said your future is so bright. If you could just see what's ahead of you, you will get terrified. If you could just see what's ahead of you, you will get, you will get, you will get settled. If you could just see what's ahead of you, you will just be so anxious and you will just be so. If you could just see what's ahead of you guys, if you guys can see what's ahead of you right now, I promise you some of you guys will get nervous for how wonderful and how amazing that your lives are going to be these next four to five years in college, in trade school. At, at McDonald's, wherever you want to go. <laughs> you guys are going to see that no matter what you go through, no matter how hard life can get, that your future is always brighter. I don't care what I went through yesterday. I don't care what I went through last night. My tomorrow is always brighter because I still got life and I still got purpose and I still got meaning for who I am and who I want to be. Man, it, it is so crazy. And it just even just to talk about this, and it's crazy. Man, I woke up, I got a business. I got my first contract with my business, my cleaning business. First commercial contract, I got to clean 50 18-wheelers. I wake up, contract started at seven at today. I wake up at four o'clock this morning to go pick up my equipment. When I go pick up my equipment, my tire popped. I'm like, how? I'm like, what? I'm like, God, why this guy have a long time ago? I got my first contract. I'm on the side of the expressway. I said, what's the first thing I'm gonna do? I said, I'm gonna keep having faith. I'm gonna keep believing. I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna get down. I'm gonna keep believing. I said, okay, let me go to the tire shop. I'm with a, a flat tire. I'm driving around Memphis at five in the morning. No tire shop is open. 
I'm driving to every tire shop in Memphis. They don't open till 7 o'clock. I got to sleep in my car. I'm waiting for the next tire shop to open up. I'm sleeping in my car. I wake up at 7. I go to the first tire shop. The man at the first tire shop, he says, no, we, we don't have that tire, sir. I'm sorry to tell you that. I say, okay, that's fine. I go down the street to the next tire shop, and, and the man says, sir, you're wasting your time. We don't have that tire. I go to the street to the next tire shop, sir. There's going to be a two-hour wait. I go to the street to the next tire shop. He says, sir, we just got to turn you away. At 9 o'clock, I finally get to a tire shop. They said, sir, we have a tire for you. Nine o'clock, I finally get my tire done. I run off to the job. I go and do the job. We get it finished. And I, I want to tell you that story because it's going to be perseverance. You just can't stop at the first tire shop and just go home and say, I can't clean this contract. I, I, listen, listen to me. It's going to be hard times. When your coach gonna tell you this year you're not good enough, you might have to sit on the beach. It's gonna be times when the teacher gonna tell you you just need to you can't get it. I just can't give you an A. You gotta keep you gotta keep studying. You gotta keep coming to class. It's gonna be times when you gonna persevere through life, but you can't stop at the first time show and just say I'm done. Right. You gotta keep pushing to that last time show. Somebody gonna tell me this. Somebody gonna give me the answer. I'm gonna win it and I'm gonna own it for my life. And that's what I want all you guys to do. Keep pushing through life. Everything that you go through, listen, every situation that you go through will build you to make you stronger to be a, become a better man. Don't ever think of situations to tear you down. Everything I went through never broke me, it made me. Everything I went through it never broke me, it made me. So guys, I want to tell you this as I leave you off. You guys are finna go into a situation where now you're considered me. You're gonna be on your own. You're gonna have to make decisions on your own, and every decision that you make, I want you to think about your parents, I want you to think about your last name, and I want you to think about your legacy. God, don't go to any university and make a decision that's going to embarrass your family, embarrass this family, and embarrass these coaches. Listen, guys, I've seen it happen so many times before. Guys I play with, guys who I was next to on the field, my freshman year, I seen one man, I done seen some of the best play, best players in the nation get caught selling drugs, robbing somebody, fight. Guys, don't do that. Every decision you make, it's not just a don't be selfish. Don't make selfish decisions because you want to have fun. Don't make selfish decisions because you want to be cool. Don't make selfish decisions because somebody else influenced you. Every decision you make, you need to be thinking about your legacy. Every decision that I make right now for my life is about retiring my mom. Every decision I make right now for my life is for my future kids, for my future wife. Every decision I make right now is so that I can have a better me. So don't make any decision that's gonna change that. Don't make any decision that's gonna embarrass and do something that might put you behind bars or something that might embarrass your name or who you are or who you wanna be. Always remember that. I thank y'all so much. Thank you.